Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Vanilla Season 3. We're over here at the Witch Farm. I've got a little bit of progress to show to you. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a little tour of Runwild's base. We're going to go deliver a service for him, if you will. And we're also going to deliver a similar service over at Port Hypermind. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're over here at the Witch Farm, and it is time for yet another Perimeter Dig update. You can see it coming into view. I do keep Optifine on, and Optifine has the depth fog, if you will. I believe that's what it's called, something like that. Anyway, it's hard to see it from over here, but let's just not fall off, shall we? We do have Feather Falling 4, so it won't be a problem, but you can see right there the entire south... south? Yes, south east corner is emptied out. So you can see that right there. There might be bits and pieces here and there due to the ghost block issue, but we should be almost done. I'm going to be moving the beacon over to there. I've also got two other beacons. We've got the one over at the Skelly Farm Dig. We're not going to be continuing that today. We're going to be moving that beacon over to this way and then I've got another beacon over at spawn we're gonna move it there so that we've got three different sections that we can attack pretty much at once with the beacon digging and then that way we can have a whole lot more people come out here and help out with that but I said we're going to go deliver a a good a service no it's a, it's a service a gift service to run wild and to port hypermine and I say that somewhat tongue-in-cheek. I'm going to be pranking him because, uh, anyway, I just think it's going to be fun. And hopefully he takes it in the same vein. If not, well, well, anyway, we'll see. I think it'll be fine once you see what we're going to be up to. But I've got to go to spawn and collect some materials. And then I will bring you back once we're there. And here we are at spawn. And you remember, it's been a while since we've been here. We've been mostly around the witch farm lately. But last time we were over here, we worked on this auto smelter. And it looks like, okay, so Jan has come in and she used it to smelt up a bunch of glass, which is really cool. Nice to see that being used. And then before that, we made this cactus farm, which looks like it's getting used. That's a good thing. And the whole reason that we made that cactus farm and the auto smelter is for our episode today. I've got some cactus green. Why might we need cactus green? Well, if you can figure that out before we get to where we are going, good on ya. Okay, it looks like we're getting, we got a lot of extra iron ingots coming through. This whole thing is full and yeah, that, that means we're throwing iron away. We're still doing that despite the best efforts of others on the server to make iron blocks. Uh, Anyway, we're not going to be spending much time here. Instead, we're going to go to Port Hypermine first. And it's been a while since I've actually used the, the Boat Pig. Is that Boat Pig? Yes. Wait a minute. I know there's an imposter here too. Mr. Boat. Okay. I want the Boat Pig. And by the way, I am on the server currently with Basket MC. He is probably streaming over at, at the... Uh, what is it? Basket station. So anyway, let's go into F5 mode and we will do a nice little jaunt over to Port Hypermine. Nighttime stroll. All right, I have already gone and made it daytime. And what we're going to do is just take a quick jaunt around here. I'm not going to do an extensive tour of Port Hypermine here. Instead, you just have to kind of skim, skim with your eyes real quick, and I will come back and we'll do a proper tour a little later. But what I want to do right now is focus right here. You see all these sheep? They're currently blue. And I'm, I'm going to breed them up as well. Cows are, hmm, they're kind of getting upset at me. But um, for the longest time, once Run Wild started here on the server, we had this war going on between he and Lapis. Lapis would color the sheep blue, and Run Wild would color them pink. 
and it would go back and forth and back and forth. And I'm here to say that I think green is a better color. And so that's what we are going to do with the sheep here at Port Hypermine. And that's exactly what we are going to do to the sheep at Run Wild Space. Because green is better than either pink or blue. So Port Hypermine is taken care of. Let's head to Run Wild Space. So I'll show you how to get there once we get to the Nether Hub. Well, here we are in the Nether Hub. We're going to go down the purple tunnel here. It goes to Run Wild Base, the End Portal, and the Mesa. And I do believe, let's see, I guess that goes to the Mesa. Does it? And the Wither Smasher, and also the Nether Fortress where we do most of our Wither hunting. Oh, well, Kessa's base too. Cool. Anyway, Run Wild's base is not too far away. It's just right here, and you get to see some of his design ethic coming through. Look at this. Just a wonderful job done here on the Nether Tunnel. It's one of the last things that I really consider before maps get reset. So I've got a couple of tunnels maybe to do, and I'm probably not going to get to them for a while. But you can kind of see this coming together. He's done a great job. He live streams, and he also does videos, and you can go check out links to both of those in the Hypermind subreddit. Back here we've got two portals. You can go to his storage area or to his main base. And we're going to go to his main base just to give you a glimpse. Uh, sorry for that portal sound. We're going to be, we're up here just to give you a glimpse of what he is doing, the craziness that he is working on here. We've got this sandstone structure here very nice and you can't see much out and about why in the world might that be he's doing this wonderful castle build he's got the banners there same design as in the nether tunnel but why in the world can we not see anything up here well it's because it's all down there yep he is he has put a structure in the sky. This is not a mountain. What we're going to do is just grab an ender pearl. Yeah, I got him right there. We'll go over to the mountain there and you can see what he's been working on. He has dug or is digging out this massive hole in the ground all the way to bedrock. I'm familiar with that concept, by the way, and he's making it look as if this whole thing is just floated up out of the ground. It is a lot of work and not just a bulk amount of work. He's doing a right fine job on that castle up there. So do go check out both his Twitch and YouTube channels so you can get up to speed on everything he's been working on. But for now, what we're going to do is come over here and we are gonna steal some XP from him somehow. And we're going to try and get in there Ah, yes. Okay. And we're going to come in and color all of the sheep green. Yep. That's what we're going to do. First, green them, and then we're going to breed them up. Hopefully they're not too loud on, on camera, but of course I can edit that in post. So not too big of a deal. All right. We're almost done. He's got a lot of sheep here. He's been threatening to do a culling here soon so so it should be much less but let's get them all turned green and then we're going to make that culling even more fun for him i think i've got them all green if i don't then we'll end up with some cyan ones but let's just go through and breed them all too while we're at it you know leave it a little bit better than we found it yep i i hear all the little lambs Coming up, okay. Good, we should be good. Should be good, and we're almost done. And I think, I think we've managed to hit all of them, hopefully. No, maybe not. That's a lot of sheep in here. We might end up with some cyan ones, okay. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm done. Okay, so let's go out of here okay and then it's not a good prank unless you leave a sign so we're going to do that right now 
All right, run wild in the interest of server unity over the question of sheep color. And yes, I spelled that without a U. I've set yours to the obviously superior choice. Cheers. Soap. And that, ladies and gentlemen, well, it's time for a sneaky screenshot, I guess. It's not very sneaky if I'm just taking it while, while we are on screen, but it's good to get this screenshot right quick, and there we go. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have time for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. Do go check out Run Wild on Twitch and YouTube. He's got some really fun stuff going on. I'd love for you to share in that as well. So go check that out. Hypermind subreddit down in the comment or description box below. Okay. And uh, anyway, as for me, that's that's it. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel. Still doing the 640 subscriber special Q&A. So go check out that link in the description box below too if you want me to answer some questions for that. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.